Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to another episode of LC Stack. So guys, in today's tutorial, I'll teach you how you can navigate from a lightning component to different different places. Like I will teach you how you can navigate to home page to a specific tab or maybe to a specific list view and how you can navigate to a specific uh, record creation page. And uh, the most important is how you can navigate to a record creation page with some default parameters. Okay so let me show you my visual studio first here it is so guys uh, this is my html file and here as you can see i'm already having the component as i just don't want to you know just to take this video long so that's why i have already created the component and let me just explain the code to you so as you can see in this component i'm having five buttons here and on these buttons First one is navigate to home page, navigate to new contact, navigate to new contact with default values, navigate to contact list view and navigate to a specific tab. Okay. Let me show you the JavaScript part now. So guys, in JavaScript part, there are few specific uh, imports that needed here just to, you know, navigate to something or to have default uh, parameters. Okay. So you have to import this navigate mixin from lightning navigation uh, so we will be using this to navigate to another page or maybe on another tab and after that guys you have to import this page reference utility to you know just to send the parameters from your lightning component to a specific uh, uh, record creation page that could be account contact or maybe one of your custom object okay so let me just uh, explain the JavaScript functions one by one. So guys, the first one is just to navigate to the home tab. So as you can see, I'm using this navigate mixin, which is from this lightning navigation and I'm using navigate property here. And we just have to pass the type, which is a standard name page and the attribute in the attributes, I'm just passing page name, which is home. So it will just navigate us from the lightning component to the home page. Okay, so the second one is navigate to new contact. It will navigate us to from lightning component to new contact creation page or if you are using standard functionality, so it will just open the new contact creation pop up on the lightning component itself. Okay, so the type is a standard object page and attributes we are passing object API name, which is contact and in action name we are passing new here because we'll be displaying new contact here. Okay, and after that guys, the another function uh, name is uh, navigate to new contact with default values. So as you can see here, I have taken the default values in a constant, which is default value and I'm passing first name and last name. So let's say if I pass the first name as Salesforce and the last name is Bold. Okay, so these are my default values for this uh, new contact page and I'm having default values in this constant. Then after that, guys, we are using the same uh, methodology which we are used in other function navigate makes in dot navigate type is a standard object page and in attribute guys, we are passing object API name contact action name new. And after that, guys, uh, in state, we are passing default field values and in default field values, we are just passing the constant. So basically the constant contains the API name of the field first name and last name and the value of that field okay so that's how you can just navigate to a specific page with some default values from a lightning web component okay and after that guys in this navigate to list view function we are just navigating to a contact recent list view from a lightning web component so we are using same methods here as well the type is same standard object page attributes also are same uh, in that object API name we are having contact and uh, in the previous example guys as you can see we were using the action name but in this one uh, action name was new but in this one guys the action name is list because we just uh, we just want to redirect the user to a specific list okay and in state you can pass the filter name like I have passed recent here so it will just redirect me to the recent list view of the contact page 
and at the end guys i'm having the last function which is navigate to a specific tab we are using same functions here the type is standard navigation item page here and the attribute is the api name of that tab in my case the api name was lmc stack it is the first tab which i have created for this demo series so that's why i have passed the api name lmc stack here okay so let's save it and deploy it quickly Alright, so it is deployed to org. Now let me show you my org. So this is my org guys and I'm already having this lightning web component into this other example tab. So let me just refresh it once. Okay, now we will try these uh, navigations one by one. So the first is navigate to home page. It will navigate us to the home page. Okay, as you can see, this is the default home page for this application. So it's working fine. Let's go back and check the navigate to new contact. All right. So as you can see, guys, uh, this is the new contact creation page with the standard functionality and fields. So that's how you can just redirect user from a lightning web component to a record creation page. And the next is navigate to new contact with default values. So in this uh, in this navigation guys we are having same functionality which we which we had in this uh, navigate to contact button but uh, but uh, by opening the new page we are also passing some default parameters which are first name and last name okay let's test it out all right so as you can see this is also working as expected uh, the first name is salesforce and the last name is bold as we passed in the javascript file okay so the next is navigate to contact list view so guys by clicking on this button it will redirect the user from lightning web component to the to contact list view and also guys if you remember we were having a filter here which was recent so it will just redirect us to the recent list view so as you can see guys this is recently viewed contact list view so this is also working fine and at the end guys we are using navigate to tab you can navigate any tab in your application like for example i have just navigated it to lc stack so you just have to pass the api name of that tab and by clicking on this button you can navigate user to a specific tab okay so guys that's how you can just redirect user from a lightning web component to different different places i think these navigations covered most of everything uh, possible uh, every possible navigation in the lightning web component or in salesforce okay so that's it for today guys and i hope you like uh, today's video i'll see you in the next one thanks for watching